The Mets are slumping at the wrong time after they got swept by the Cubs. Here to give us some insight as to what is going on is New York Post Mets beat writer Mike Puma. Mike, all season we've been talking about the Mets and the Braves and the race to the top of the National League, but we haven't really talked about the Cardinals. They're only four and a half games back from the Mets. So could this weekend series against the Pirates be the biggest series for the Mets this season and why? I think I think every series at th this point is the biggest series of the season for the Mets, just because they have to get rolling here again. And you mentioned they've they've had trouble in this stretch. They just got swept by the Cubs. Uh, they had a, a tough series uh, against the Nationals two weekends ago. So uh, you look at it, and you mentioned the Cardinals. Now, where that comes into play is you're you're by winning the National League East, you're trying to get the uh, number two seed. In, in the playoffs um, and if, if you don't if the Cardinals finish with a, a better record the Cardinals will get that number two seed and, and push the Mets down to a wild card which they're trying to avoid uh, by uh, getting the second best record here. Are you mentioned the playoffs but I want to go back to them being swept by the horrible Cubs or the bad news bears as I like to call them they held New York to to a total of six runs in three games. So how can this team, this Mets team, get their bats going again? And who in particular needs to step it up? Well, the DH spot's been a, a giant disappointment. They got Daniel Vogel back at the trade deadline. He started off well for the team, but he's, he's kind of fallen off a cliff lately. And uh, from the right side, Darren Ruff has one hit in whatever it is, 30 or two hits now. I guess he got a hit last night, so two hits in 35-plus at bats. And they really miss Starling Marte, who's got that broken finger on his right hand. And, you know, we'll see when he can come back here. But he's a big piece of that lineup uh, that's missing right now. The, the, the surprise is they've, they've gotten some pretty good production from their catchers lately, James McCann and Tomas Nito, which had been lacking just about the entire year. Now those guys are hitting, but they're about the only ones. Yeah, they're definitely missing Starling Marte in that lineup. But let's go back to the playoffs. Talk about these playoffs that are coming up. The Magic number is eight to clinch a, po a postseason berth. Can they win the NL East title, or will they just settle for a postseason spot? And I, I use the word settle very loosely. Yeah, well, they certainly can w win the division. They're in the lead here by a half game on the Braves. Uh, there's still that big series that they're going to play near the end of the season down in Atlanta, which I think is, is going to determine who who wins this thing. But it'd be a disappointment at this point if they if they had to go in as a wild card or or even, you know, even if they win the division and uh, had to play the wild card round because the, the Cardinals had a better record than them. So if you're the Mets, the goal here is to get that number two seed. And I think anything else is, is, is going to be a, a, a disappointment. All eyes are on the Mets for the rest of the season. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.